Now, who could possibly be at the door at this hour? I hope it's not some stranger or maybe even... Debbie. Hey, Jason. Nice to see you again. Oh, right, Manu. She's probably miss you, too. Oh, lover boy strikes again. You found another love interest, Jason. At least this time it's another human. Hey, Manu, we are not going through this again tonight. She's in quite the rush. Why isn't she here? She always tells me when she goes somewhere. Who's there? She'll be home soon. Oh, thank God. I can't be seen here. I gotta get out of here. Gosh, it sure is chilly already. It's like winter comes sooner every year. Oh, well, good evening, my rising star. Didn't expect to see you here so early. Darling, why are you looking at me so funny? Sir, we need to talk. Okay. I really hate to have to say this to you, but I have some important and serious questions I have to ask you. So can we please take some time to do this before we start filming tonight? Of course we can. Let's get set up and then we'll discuss this. Hmm. Boy, am I glad I invested in such comfy seats for my office. Also, I made some coffee for you to your right on that table. Pumpkin spice with no cream and extra sugar, just the way you always like it. Oh, well, thanks. I appreciate that. Oh, you're very welcome, my rising star. Nothing's too special for you. So, what was it you wanted to talk about? Well, last night when I was visiting someone, you sent me a text that made me feel a bit uncomfortable. So I wanted to talk about what that was all about. Visiting someone? Oh, I figured it'd be that. Well, see, the truth is I was very concerned about your safety when I heard you had just left like that, you know? Because usually you tell me if you're going to someplace special. I panicked a little, I'm not gonna lie. Well, before I got home, I sent you a text with an important question on it. And on top of all that, I saw tire tracks that weren't my own when I got home. You didn't enter my apartment, did you? Did I enter your apartment? Oh, you wound me, Debbie darling. How could you accuse me of such a thing? I would never invade someone's privacy like that, especially someone as special as you. I just happened to be passing by the neighborhood and I saw that your motorcycle wasn't there. So I just wanted to make sure I knew where you were. And while I very much appreciate your concern, this turn of events has really got me wondering if I should still trust you with my acting career or not. And so it begins. I had a feeling you'd ask that, and I've prepared myself for this discussion. Has it always been your dream to become a famous actor? Well, of course I have, ever since I was a little girl, but I haven't always had many opportunities to pursue said career. I really hope my dreams can come true someday. Uh-huh, believe me, I know that better than anyone. And I know you want to have a life outside of acting, but I really have to tell you something important about life as a famous actor. I'm listening. As you know already, Acting requires a lot of exposure, a lot of publicity, a lot of attention from the media and all that jazz. And sure, it looks all well and good on the outside, but on the inside, it's not totally all it's cracked up to be. Now, I'm not trying to dissuade you from being an actor, but I just want you to be aware of the pros and cons with this career choice. As your acting coach, it's my job to let you know of these things. It takes a lot of time and effort to become an actor in this world. And honestly, it's pretty cold and cutthroat. A lot of times it's clawing and scraping your way to the next role. Not that you'd have that much trouble finding roles, of course, because you're so talented. And I can assure you I'll get plenty of roles with the talent I've acquired. But whenever you get a role that so many people covet, the people that didn't get that role tend to go through a lot of pain and sadness. It's pretty tough to watch someone who's really worked so hard to get a certain part in a movie to, like, just get coldly rejected by some big director. 
I'd feel awful if that happened to you. That's why I'm glad you didn't just jump right into it without some guidance. I am grateful for all your help, but what does this have to do with where I go? And who I see? Well... Here's another brutally honest thing about becoming an actor. When one gets so much publicity and fame, especially one as young as you, there are some sick people out there that can and will try to take advantage of that and try to use people like you for their own selfish gain. So you really can't be too careful out in the world, especially if you're famous. I think I've gone off on a tangent there, but the thing I want you to learn from all this is that the reason I'm so concerned about you is because I want the absolute best for you, and that even though it may seem a bit overbearing, I always have the best intentions for you. I'm really sorry that you had to feel any mistrust towards me. I deeply regret having made you feel that way. I hope you can forgive me. Aw, Coach Richard. You've been so kind and supportive to me for the past few years, so it'd be pretty selfish of me not to forgive you. So yeah, I totes forgive you. Thanks, Debbie. That means a lot. It warms my heart to see you maturing into such a capable, talented young woman. And I sincerely hope we can continue working together to make sure your ambitions and dreams come true and that nothing bad ever happens to you. In fact, I promise to give you the best acting career that anyone's ever known. Do you really mean that? Oh, I absolutely mean it. Cross my heart and hope to die. I hope you know I mean that with all my heart. I wouldn't say it if it weren't true. Because behind every success story, there's usually someone guiding them along that way, making sure things go as smoothly as possible, and that they live the best life they can have, while still being able to deal with the pressures and difficulties of a life of fame. Gosh, look at the time. We've really been talking about this for a bit too long, don't you think? It's about time we shot some scenes now. Because tonight's batch of scenes are really going to be awesome. Now I know what you're thinking. This looks pretty risque, right? Well, with your acting prowess, I know you could pull it off perfectly, my rising star. After all, a lot of variety will look great on an acting resume, as you probably already know. Now go ahead. No time to waste now, right? I can't sleep after seeing what I saw on Debbie's phone. What time is it now? Three o'clock. Dang it. I really hate this nasty habit I have of overthinking things sometimes. I'm probably just making a big deal out of something small again. <sighs> There's nothing I do about it right now. So I'll just go to sleep. Oh, hot. Damn, did these pink leggings make her look amazing tonight. It's such special times we have together. And they'll stay that way as long as whoever that worthless piece of garbage was that convinced her to go out on her own doesn't keep poisoning her brain. Hey, Coach, are you all right in there? You sound upset. No, Debbie, darling, I'm fine. I just stubbed my toe on, on the table again. You know how clumsy I am. It will happen. It will happen. It will happen. Debbie. Richard. Perfection.